So a really quick video uh, about my cholinergic urticaria. I had promised to do a video about this uh, a while ago and uh, just didn't really get around to doing it. So um, as you know, if you follow the cholinergic urticaria section of our page, it's something I've had for a very long time I would say at least 20 years and basically it's a skin condition where you will break out in hives sometimes and you will just itch constantly when you are hot uh, sometimes people will have it the opposite where if they're too cold they would break out in hives and some people have both um, recently I've been told by many different people to try different things and see if that works uh, so what I have actually done is several things. One, I use, I make my own detergent, laundry detergent, uh, to use because I feel like added chemicals on your body is probably not a good thing. There's a lot of things in your laundry detergent that you use. Even the uh, all-natural detergent, sometimes there's things in it that's probably not good for you. The other thing that we've done is actually make our own hand soap. Now, I'm not saying go out and do these things for yourself, but I'm just doing these not only just for my benefit, but for everyone here, their benefit as well. So we make our own hand soap as well. Uh, some of the other things that I've done is uh, not use traditional detergent, or not detergents, deodorants. Uh, a lot of the deodorant actually has aluminum in it and different things so I've actually done away with using just regular deodorant I have a particular type of deodorant that is natural and does not have any sort of metals and things like that in it so those are some of the things that I have actually have done I've also as far as the diet side of things I've gotten rid of milk um, I used to drink a lot of milk eating a lot of cereal but that's no longer the case really so I've done away with dairy as far as that goes I still have uh, every now and again some cheese but very very rarely at this point uh, now to say it does any of this actually help the CU colon or I don't know yet you gotta understand that when you put something in your body as far as food or things that you wear it takes a very long time for your body to basically uh, get rid of it so you may stop eating a particular type of food that affects your cholinergic urticaria and you think nothing's happening however slowly over time your body is detoxing off of it and you will probably have less itching. You're never going to get rid of cholinergic urticaria unless naturally your body is done with it. Um, typically you're going to have it uh, forever. Now some people wake up and say, hey, I don't have it anymore. Or it could be that their symptoms are so light that they don't even recognize it any longer. But for me, it is still there, still present. It's still as strong as it ever has been. Uh, or there are things that I can do to definitely um, stop it from affecting me temporarily. But there's nothing that I can do at this point in time that I'm aware of that's going to completely stop it and eliminate it. Now, there's medicines I can take that the doctor has told me I could definitely have and use that would be very beneficial for me. But I haven't went that route yet. Um, I'm trying to stay away from as many medications as possible. When I go back to Haiti, because it is so ultra hot over there, even if you go in the winter time, what's winter here, like in the December, January, February mar months, it's still very hot there. So um, when I do go there, I'm going to obviously take some of the medicines I took before, which basically load up on a lot of uh, antihistamines as well as any oral sunblocker to help uh, stop from myself from itching constantly over and over and over again. Here in Seattle and Tacoma, it is the hottest periods of the year. Usually around late June, early July, through most of July, it's really, really hot here, or what we consider hot. Other people would consider it amazing. Uh, as you've seen with some of our videos, there's not a cloud in the sky. It is typically a very nice day. However, people would see you, it is a horrible time. You will itch, 
and it, there's a lot of humidity which does not help. So uh, just a quick update that I wanted to give you guys on my CU. I still do have it. There are still things I'm going to try. I'm trying to lay off on some, some things to test what is working and what does not work. It takes a while, obviously, for you to see any sort of results anytime you try something. So, uh, yes, I have the sweated out tech, uh, you know, therapy where you just basically work yourself up to a sweat so that you can get your body adjusted and used to it. Um, but sometimes it's difficult to get to that point of where you will sweat. Again, once I actually start sweating, the problem is not there. So I have been experimenting with that, trying to make my, force myself to sweat as quickly as I possibly can so that the uh, CU doesn't hurt so bad. But uh, yeah, that's so far what I have been doing. If you have any questions about CU or any issues that you're having with CU, put it down in the description box below. Uh, I'm sure there's other people struggling with it just as well and they probably have suggestions that you can try. Uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, I will see you. Take care.